Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Miss Laura Lee here. For those of y'all that don't know who Laura Lee is, Laura Lee is a influencer, a beauty influencer. So basically, six years ago, this girl right here tweeted a racist comment telling all black people to pull up their pants because if they pulled up their pants, they would be able to run faster from the police. I wanted to share my thoughts and opinions on her apology video that she just did not even 24 hours ago and so that's what today's video is about so I want to talk about bigger youtubers buying subs okay so first off I want to talk about her apology video her apology video the whole thing looked so fake and so like full of shit like it just you can automatically tell like I'll have little clips in here so you guys will be able to understand where I'm coming from I want to talk to you guys in this video it's been so hard it's almost impossible for a second I thought she was really being you know truthful and then I watched a few more seconds of the video and then I was like, okay, this is just crocodile tears. I know that I'm better than that person. I, six years ago, decided to retweet things that were so vile and hurtful. And ignorant and I have no excuses here today I'm not here to give you an excuse I have no excuses I'm only here to say that I'm so sorry <laughs> I hope one day that you guys can save me for the woman that I am <laughs> I'm not that girl. It just didn't seem like it's real. It doesn't seem like she's really sorry for what she said. But at the same time, this was six years ago. It seemed like back in 2012, everybody was racist. Everybody has something racist to say. Like a lot of people are pulling a lot of bigger YouTubers tweets. But now they want to apologize six years later. And I'm like, where was the apology at six years ago? Like, I don't want to hear any of your boys right now i don't know why people are bringing it up right now it's irrelevant in 2018 they should have brought that shit up in 2012 when it happened i hate when people bring up stuff that happened like in 1990 or 1987 or 1776 who cares it's 2018 y'all but but the only thing the only reason i'm mentioning it right now is because the apology video she did is pointless it's pointless. She need to go ahead and delete that. Delete that video, Laura Lee. Just go ahead, delete that shit. It don't matter. Like, just leave that shit in 2012. You said you were sorry on You said you were sorry already and let that shit be bygones be bygones. But, you know, aside from all of that, her ass got like over 4 million subscribers. How? I have no idea. Like, she's been on YouTube for some years and years and years. I've been subscribed to her for some years and years and years. So, but still, I still don't understand how she got 4 million subs. People, people have been on YouTube longer than her and don't even got 4 million. Her whole subscriber count is going down by the millisecond. And it's, it's damn near hilarious because as I went on Social Blade. As soon as I clicked off her apology video and went on Social Blade, and saw her live uh, subscriber feed, like it's going down so freaking fast. But I noticed something. Like it kept jumping from 27, I'm gonna show y'all what I mean right now. Like I'm gonna show y'all on the screen right now what I mean. But it kept jumping from 27 to 60, 27 to 60, 27 to 60. So it was like 827,000 to 860. 827,000 to 860 and that's why I want to talk about youtubers buying subscribers bigger influencers yeah they have a lot of subscribers and I'm gonna use Laura Lee as an example because this is happening to her right now so 
he has four million subs right that is a whole lot right that's more than a lot of uh youtubers that i know i watch youtubers that i watch i know they get like one million two million they buy subscribers and they have million they have over a million so it's like people are like oh why are you gonna buy subscribers and you already got a lot you know and then they'll argue about that like oh we don't buy subscribers we don't need to buy subscribers we don't need to buy views we got plenty of views like how they be getting so many subscribers in so little time so i took screenshots to show that it kept jumping back and forth and i'm like she's over here buying subscribers and as she buys them she loses them it's not really working for her to keep buying all these subscribers and she's gonna keep losing them in, in the long run so anybody out there thinking that you can just go buy subscribers and buy views and it's you're not gonna lose them you're gonna lose the subscribers so it's pointless you're gonna waste all this money and just to gain subscribers that you're gonna end up losing just as fast as you gained them like it's really stupid and i wanted to show these screenshots to to prove it to you guys that this is happening that these youtubers are doing this laura lee is currently doing this because she's losing so many subscribers in a very short amount of time and she's trying to gain them all back but it's backfiring on her laura lee is losing them faster than i've ever seen anybody lose any subscribers on youtube in all my years of being on youtube it's really crazy like people aren't having her like she's about to go down like i by the end of the week her ass gonna have zero subscribers this is my advice to laura lee laura lee first of all delete that apology video is not only is it super cringy it's not real it's not genuine delete it just, just go about like business as usual on your channel before your ass becomes irrelevant and get canceled so that's exactly what i would do i would just delete that video it was too cringy and even though she if she deleted it, it's gonna be on the internet forever so it don't matter but just to not have it on your channel anymore just delete that sh so any any new subscribers that come to your channel won't see that shit. so just delete it off of your channel if they want to see that they gonna have to dig deep into other people's channels and stuff but if if a new subscriber comes to your channel it won't pop up and just go about your business before your ass get canceled in my eyes your ass is already canceled i already said unsubscribe to you i already unsubscribed to you unsubscribe unsubscribe unfucking subscribe no i'm not gonna support any racism if you say one racist comment you are a racist forever in my eyes i'm i don't play when it comes to that shit i'm half black that is my blood that is that is what's running through my veins right now and i'd be damned if i support somebody that doesn't support me and my race so fuck you laura lee but i'm just telling y'all for y'all for all the new youtubers all the new smaller channel youtubers don't think that you can do this too please don't because it's not it's gonna be a waste of money for you there's a lot of scams out there i don't want y'all to lose, lose out on y'all money and be scammed okay i wouldn't risk it these youtubers got money to waste they be buying all they be wasting all kinds of money on designers ain't got time to be sc getting scammed by my that's all i gotta say in this video if y'all like this video please go ahead and like it subscribe to your girl it helps your girl out and i'll see you guys in my next one